movements of young sunflower heads during the day to track the sun is one of the most amazing things in nature. All plants exhibit movements. Let's get to know more about plant movements in this module. At the end of this module, you will be able to Explain the meaning and types of tropic movements in plants. Explain the meanings and types of gnostic movements in plants. Roots growing downwards and shoots growing upwards is a common phenomenon in plants. These movements or growth in plants are based on the direction of external agents or stimuli. Stimulus may be an external agent such as light, gravity, contact or source of water. Directional movements or growth towards or away from a stimulus are called tropic movements. Tropic movement towards a stimulus is termed positive, while a tropic movement away from a stimulus is termed negative. Take a look at this plant kept indoors. We have chosen a pot that is open on both ends. All the stems have turned towards the window, that is, towards light. Movement in plants due to light is called phototropism. Now, let us take a closer look at a plant showing phototropic movement. You can see the shoot of the plant growing towards the light and the root growing against the light. Here, the shoots are positively phototropic and the roots are negatively phototropic. Did you know that the telegraph plant is an amazing plant? Its small lateral leaflets move at a rapid speed along an elliptical path sampling the intensity of sunlight and directing the large leaf to the area of most intensity. Let's place this potted plant horizontally for a few days. We have chosen a pot that is open on both ends. We see that the roots have grown downwards towards the gravitational pull. The shoots, however, have grown upwards against the gravitational pull. Plant movement in response to the force of gravity is called geotropism. The roots are positively geotropic, while the shoots are negatively geotropic. These wiry stems are actually tendrils. Tendrils move in the direction of a solid object that they happen to come in contact with. Plant growth movement in the direction of a solid that touches it is called Thigmotropism. The movement of plants in response to the stimulus of water or moisture is called hydrotropism. Now take a look at this setup. You can see that the bean seed here has its root growing towards water. Water is the stimulus here that has led to this directional growth movement of the root. Watch these visuals to understand hydrotropism better. Gnastic movements in plants are also a response to stimuli, such as contact, light or heat. Gnastic movements do not lead to growth and are non-directional movements. Gnastic movements are reversible movements, unlike tropic movements. Pitcher plant and the Venus flytrap close and catch their prey as soon as the prey lands on them. 
The leaves of mimosa or touch me not plant close when they are touched. Here, the movements do not depend on the direction of the stimulus. The leaves of oxalis move in response to intensity of light. They open up in daylight and fold when the intensity of light is less. Flowers such as sunflowers, morning glory and tulips bloom during the day and close in the evening. Now, for a quick recap, we have the summary here.